Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we are lanky outside of the barn, because we got some stuff for him to do. Hopefully that switch will actually react, um, provided we can actually get up there, so let's go. So we're getting near the end of the world, and just by the way, the speedrun of this game, the current best one, would be pretty much just about done right now. Oh, come on, that was... You even added in some fall damage just as an extra insult there, game? Come on. Now, if Lanky, you could grab on- I know it's a very thin rope, but you can still grab onto it. It really doesn't look like you should be very successful in climbing this, but alas, you are. So, whatever. I don't care. Oh, it's a Diddy Switch. Shoot. Well, isn't there also a door somewhere around here that I can go into? Well, I can grab that at the very least. But I could have sworn... Um... Oh, no, that's closed. Okay, it's really difficult to see uh, with my capture window. But I could have... Oh, why? Yeah, I can jump back up there. I could have sworn that there was a door or something here that Lanky could do. Where is it, though? And then we also need to become... Here we go. Yeah, right over here. Remember this when I went into Baboom Balloon mode? Man, I thought that was a Lanky switch up there, though. That was only the last part, too. Come on, me. Okay, so let's go flying up there. And it's not like it's been a long time since I recorded that. Only about 24 hours. Slightly less, actually. Okay, now then, right around here, we have... Well, we got his banana medal during that cutscene, just to note, in case you didn't notice, which you probably didn't. Considering it only... Well, you probably did. It was pretty large. And just in case you don't believe me, uh, look at that. We have 82 bananas now. And I'm not liking the fact that they give us a whole bunch of homing ammo. Let's just go ahead and hit this switch, which makes us be lanky. And what's going on here? We have a whole bunch of bats. Uh, okay, we cannot play our instrument here. Looks like they're going to make me um, shoot them down. And again, if this becomes green, it'll home in on the enemy and we'll most likely kill them. Uh, which is good because I can barely see them. So, is that all of them? No, I think I hear one more. Oh, no, there we go. That's all of them. Really easy. But yeah, they fly kind of fast, which is good that you have the homing ammo. As well as you will be able to see them. The cursor will turn green when you're right by one, which is nice. And I believe right here is the exit. Yep, not gonna take five minutes to try to get out of there like last time I played this game. At least I think that happened. I don't know, I remember that happening for whatever reason. Okay, um, so that pretty much does it for Lanky, like, in this entire world. Except for his blueprint, which we'll get in a minute. And then there's one more, two more things to do with Tiny, I think. And one more thing to do with Diddy that we can actually do. Um, just a word of warning, there's actually one golden banana that we cannot get in this world right now. It's one for Lanky. Um, unfortunately we can't get it quite yet. We're gonna have to wait until we get the power from the next world. So, we'll get that one after the end of the next world. We'll come back here, quickly grab that, and then head on to the last world, or the seventh world. Yeah, the seventh world. Okay, so let's see here. Do will this switch actually activate this time? It should, otherwise I'm completely clueless. There we go, I was afraid it wouldn't, actually. Okay, door opens up and it's gonna give me a one second timer, right? Oh, well, um, I would have failed that one second timer. Is it seriously timed, though? Because I really don't want it to be. There we go, after a whole bunch of frame drops. Oh, even more homing ammo, this is a good sign. Um, I wonder what I have to do. Oh, well, we have a Diddy Balloon, which is nice. Let's go ahead, I hear bats, so let's go ahead and kill them with some rock, metal, guitar. Uh oh, yeah, okay, there we, there they go. Where is the balloon? Oh, there we go. Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, it's just going back and forth, come on, me. Okay, there we go, and that's the banana metal for Diddy, very nice. It is so dark in this area, yeesh. Kinda worries me because of dark, darker areas. Um, one of these we need to press. I forget which one. Well, it's probably the other one, considering that one looks pretty, really broken. Um, oh wait, no, I remember. Uh, first off, we have to hit the hidden on button right there. And then we can go ahead and press this button. Yeah, using the chimpy charge, something that we haven't used in forever. I don't think we used it at all, at all in the fourth world, but we have used it in the fifth one now, and we used it in the third, so there you go. And that will pull this up, and I'm pretty sure that this is caged off, and we can't... Yeah. Oh, okay. That's... 
Why do they need to do that? Why is that necessary? It's not any more difficult, it's just tedious. Come on, game. Okay. So let's quickly head over there. Um, go ahead, play rock music to make that cage explode or something. And then we'll get our golden banana here. Okay, let's see what happens. Hopefully it just blows up the cage and there's nothing else we have to do. Yeah, it... it... it literally blew up. Wow, okay, thanks, game. That was really pointless, honestly. Why do they feel it necessary to make you just go and play your guitar? Especially since they made the pad just up here. Like, maybe if they had the pad there to begin with, and you were wondering each time you pass that area, like, I wonder what that pad's supposed to do. And then they, like... Once you pulled up the cage and played the guitar there, they were like, oh, hey, now it does something, and then they play that cutscene. Then you would be like, oh, okay, that's what that pad does. But in this case, there's just nothing. Okay, now we need Tiny for her thing in this area. We did turn in her blueprint, right? Um, yes. Uh, darn it, actually. I cannot recall where one of her golden bananas are at the moment, then. I can only remember two of them. Shoot. Where is her last one? Did I get the one in the mushroom? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, well, I j just now remembered the reason why there are these holes around. Uh, so that, uh, so that Tiny can navigate this area while Tiny, or smaller, and then she can get in here, into this area, grab her banana metal, and here's a giant spider web. Uh, is this just like Goma? No, it is not activated just like Goma. We actually have to stand inside of the spider web. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this boss, just the uh, battlefield, really reminds me of that one spider boss of Wario World. And my god, that is such a good game. I really wish I could let's play it, but unfortunately, at least right now, I don't have access to GameCube games in my room. But for this guy, in case you don't know why that may remind me, uh, why this reminds me of that, um, the battlefield for that boss in Wario World is actually, it actually has a giant spider web in the middle, so there you go. But for this boss, all that we have to do is kill all his spiderlings. Uh, they take two hits, so they're one of the most, they're some of the most powerful enemies we've fought by far. And then he will open up his eye, and you shoot him, and that's it. Whoa, okay, he just kind of blipped into existence there. Oh, darn it. Don't get knocked off the edge, whatever you do. And then he will open his eye, be like, oh, what's going on, my guys? And then you shoot him, and he's like, oh, why did I open my eye? I don't even get how he realizes that his guys are missing. And he can actually shoot his own guys, that's pretty funny. Just on accident, like, oh, oops, um, don't need you guys anymore or something. Okay, uh, that's two, and then the last one, where did it go? Um, hello? Oh, there you are. I knew it was somewhere behind me, but I thought he had fallen off the edge somehow. Oh, dang it. Okay, uh, my controls are now inverted. Um, that's really annoying. Wow, that is really disorienting. Okay, now they're back to normal. And I think his, uh, pink snot actually freezes you in place. So that is really something you want to know. Now if we could actually kill these guys, I think that's all of them. So let's shoot at him without inverted controls, right in the eye. And now he can continue on with this fight. This is a pretty long fight, and it's actually a mini-boss in this game. What the heck? There's a mini-boss in this game? Dang, never thought that that would happen. Okay, now he's getting really wild with his things. The pink blasts either freeze you or hurt you. I really can't remember, and I don't want to find out. Oh, don't get knocked off the edge. There we go. Um, if you could wake up there, sir, shoot you right in the eye, or the face, I guess. That was more like, how much health do I have left? Okay, well, boom, that's two. Oh, come, okay, we kind of hit each other there. Wow, I have barely any health left. Okay, kill these two. Oh, you know what, I think I remember where Tiny's last banana is. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I know the general area, which is nice. There we go, finally beat him. He takes forever. I swear, his boss battle takes longer than most of the bosses in this game. Okay, he's shrinking really small, and wait, we're still not done. Now we have to beat him up when he's small, just like all the other spiders, but... Uh, just hit him once, because... Well, either he's a big pansy, or the damage that we did by shooting him in the eye was enough. 
Either way, we get that golden banana. Nice. So that's three for these two. Uh, Diddy needs one more. Donkey Kong basically has five, and that's pretty much it. What happens if I ground pound this? Absolutely nothing. It's made out of a very strong material, apparently. Okay, well, let's just fly on out of here. There we go. Okay, so that's that. We are almost dead. Um, now I need to try to remember where everything else is. Hmm. Remembering. Oh no. I've been pretty good at remembering stuff in this game, though, I must say. I mean, I've only played it a couple times. But I cannot currently remember where one of Tiny's bananas exactly are. I remember what you have to do, but I don't remember where it's located or how you get to it. So, dang it. Actually, wait. I think... Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Okay, so we have pretty much completed this section of the world. Uh, now we need to go back to the mushroom, and actually that other section that I opened up with Lanky but never really explored. Uh, that's where we will find our last couple things. I'm gonna stay as tiny. No, I'm not. I'm gonna switch to Lanky. Just because, just in case I didn't actually open up and I'm remembering wrong. I feel like I did, but there's always a chance that I didn't. As well as he's one of the characters that we need to do stuff with in that area, and I'm going to end with Tiny because she has something to do uh, back at where Funky is later on. So we are really getting close to the end here. Four. Is that... That is not the number I want. I want three. Uh, here we go. Three. So this should teleport me right to the giant mushroom. Indeed it did. And right around here, somewhere on the outer edge, there's a door right there that we want to take. So we finally get to unlock the mysteries of what is behind door number orange. Because, you know, orange is totally a number. Wow, that guy takes off two watermelons? I forgot that. Although, now that he mentions it by hitting me, I totally remember it now, honestly. Okay, so he's kind of dangerous. We haven't had a health upgrade in a while, either. Also, so many lanky bananas. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, so this, um, kind of really reminds me of... Uh, Click Clock Wood right now, what with the falling we weaves, yeah, falling leaves and all. So, kind of neat there. There's the number four teleporter, and right in here is Lanky's Kasplat. So just go ahead and punch him up a couple times. Grab the actual blueprint. Um, right here we have a Diddy Kong instrument. Over here is the golden banana that Lanky cannot yet do. So we're gonna do that later, and we're also gonna get all 100 bananas with him. Nice. But yeah, we'll do that one when we come back here after the sixth world. Right over here is something for Tiny. And where's the change barrel? That's what I'm looking for. I think it's right over here. Uh, punch this guy up a couple times, because why not? He got my way. Um, right here. Oh, oh, no, that's a ditty barrel. Where's the change barrel? It's... I Oh, there we go. Dang it, I thought it was at the side somewhere. Shoot. Okay, well... Next up, Diddy. Um, yeah, not gonna go over too well here. Okay, so let's just quickly head on around, I guess. Uh, grab these, even though we really don't need them. We definitely have enough bananas for the boss to open up the boss door. Um, but you know, you never know. Well, so I, I think we also have everybody's banana medal now, I'm pretty sure. Don't think any of them are really missing anything, but we want to play the instrument right there to wake up this owl. And doesn't this scene look familiar? I mean, a bird coming out of a cage type place, getting ready to fly, looking around, preparing his wings. Come back when you can fly. Okay, well he's awake now. It has to be nighttime for you to wake him up though, that's why I didn't come here till now. And, well, they're not wings, but hopefully it's good enough for Mr. Owl. We are going to get a jetpack, because we are good. Okay, where is he? Should be... Here we go, there he is. Um, let's go ahead and approach him. Maybe shoot him with a peanut once. Okay, yeah. Fly through his course of rings. You get infinite co crystal coconuts, luckily. But this is really difficult, long, and drawn out. So just make sure you are careful. If you take this nice and slow, but not too slow, you should be fine. But just make sure to keep on pace with him. 
if he gets three rings ahead of you, you're done, you have to try again. So what I suggest doing is that you just wait in the place that you are until he produces his next ring. Also, R really helps in case you can't get the camera to go behind you otherwise. Because that's kind of annoying, like it was happening right there. Luckily I thought of that. Man, R is so helpful. To think that I never used it before, how did I ever play this game, honestly? Uh, nice thing again, the rings are sprites, so they will turn with you. Which is a good thing, because right there I missed it, but I was it turned with me, so I didn't have to like go through its side or anything. Also, now we kind of want to hurry up a little bit before I completely lose him. There's also that very nice arrow that labels wherever the next ring is. Be careful right there, don't land accidentally. Not talking from experience or anything like that. Just warning you that it is a possibility. How much longer is this going to be? Uh, don't land right here, that jerk owl is uh, trying to really make you land and mess up here so that you can't possibly win now because obviously his rings aren't cutting it. Also, Mr. Rao, while we're at this, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Um, apparently 14, that number popped up, okay. And at the very top right here, a banana barrel shows up. As though that wasn't hard enough, with, even though honestly that's probably one of the hardest uh, golden bananas to retrieve in this area, he makes you do a mini game for this golden banana as well. And as well, it's this one. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, oh man, this, this is wasting my homing ammo? That's not fair, game. That's dumb. Why would you program such a thing? Man, that sucks. It's not even homing in on them. Dang it. Okay, well, as usual, starting this up is really difficult, but once you get it started, then you're good. Okay, here. Oh, wait, no, they take multiple hits now? Weird. Oh, man, another one's popping up. Okay, now we have infinite ammo. Um, yeah, not good. I don't like how they're taking two hits now all of a sudden. I'm guessing it's because the peanuts are weaker or something, whereas Chunky's bazooka is more powerful? I don't know. I, did they actually program that? That's kind of interesting that they did. Okay, I have a bad pattern going on to this right now. It's like a number four or something on a cross. Rather than just the circle that it should be. Just hurry up and try to get them as soon as they spawn. Okay, here we go. I think we got this now. Just onslaught as they're spawning. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we got this. There we go. See, once you get started, just spam the B button. And then once you get that past that first wave where they're all heading towards you at once, it gets a lot easier. So let's go ahead and grab this banana. So that is five bananas for Diddy Kong, five for Chunky. Technically five for um, Donkey Kong once we... T Whoa, there are some coins right there. I did not know that. Uh, technically five for DK once we turn in his blueprint. And... Um, Technically, four for Lanky once we turn in his blueprint, which is the most amount we can get. So that just leaves a couple for Tiny left. Which she wants to head on to the other side, right here. Uh, so she wants to head towards this dirt pile right here. So let's go ahead and... Does she need the banana metal? She's the only one I'm questioning right now. Nope, she got it. Let's just go ahead and grab these anyways. Okay, so that's a very small music pad, by the way. That's smaller than most of them. Um, go ahead, hopping, hop in here, and head on around. They really like this tiny power-up, by the way. They use it all the time. I just really feel like they really liked Tiny out of all the characters. Uh, just her powers and whatnot. Okay, so we can play the jazz instrument, our saxophone. I forgot the name of it for a second. It is most definitely known as the Jazz Instrument. And Squawks will pick us up, and just drop us in this hole, because that's safe. And will I... You, I was going to say you missed the regular bananas, but no you didn't. So we go ahead and grab those on the way down. We have some purple crocodiles that we're usually only able to kill with oranges, but they were dumb and forgot to program the fact that you wouldn't be able to use your instrument in this area. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's all you need to do. Indeed, quite. Okay, so that's that. We also have this weird seed right here. So go ahead, grab that. And then also grab your golden banana. And that's it for that room. Just make sure you grab that seed. And I have no idea how you're so- Oh, there's a cannon right there. Okay, I was going to say, I have no idea how you get out of here. 
think you just have to die, but that is not the case. Okay, finally. I'm... blah. God, my throat. Um... Should I call that a part? I mean, we are up to 20 minutes now. We could very well finish this into in four parts. I mean, we're really close. We just have to turn into blueprints and use that seed somewhere. Um... Yeah, I'm going to turn in some morning, and that'll be the last thing I do in this part. In the next part, we will finish up this world entirely, and probably... I don't know if we'll start the next one. We'll fight the boss and everything, maybe free Kalumsi. It might be a short part, I really don't know. It just depends on how time works out. But we are really close to being done. If I could ever make it up this thing, there we go. If I didn't make it up that time, I was just going to start the next part trying to get up there and taking five minutes to do that in order to absorb time and make that part slightly longer. But no such thing occurred, so let's make it daytime. And th we're going to finish up the world next time. So I will see you all then. Goodbye.